Hi guys, I better get this done quick because it is literally raining, but I'm so grateful for the rain. I'm, I, we needed it so desperately, so I'm just taking it up. I'm just enjoying it and saying thank you and feeling blessed for it. So, all right, it is time to do our weekly vibes. What do we need to know about love, money, worry, and advice for this week? As always, I'm gonna put a little video here so that you can have time to think about what number resonates with you, one, two, or three. Go to that number and find out what your week looks like. I have to do an add-on here because I forgot to say, Happy Father's Day! <laughs> Group one, when it comes to love, we have the 10 of wands. Okay, so, okay, it feels like there's something up, whether it's a family friend, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever it is, you just feel like, you know, there's something up and you want to contact them and you want to figure it out. Um, there's just this feeling of, of, something's up and you're not quite sure how to deal with it because you don't know what it is. So uh, lay low, you will find out, they will let you know. Um, yeah, interesting one. When it comes to money, we got the seven of pentacles. So overall with the seven of pentacles, it's like there's an anxiety there about like your progress, how well you've been doing and whether that's about work or even your finances, it just feels like you're never getting ahead. It's like you're always at the same place where you started and you just can't get ahead. Um, when it comes to anxiety, <laughs> we get the death card. So... Hmm, interesting, because the death card is all about letting go of situations or, or, or people or things that don't serve you. So for some people, this could be, um, you know, get for changing their job because they're dissatisfied with their work or they're dissatisfied with how much money they're bringing in. This could be you know, um, if you smoke or if you eat too much or if you're a gambler or whatever your vice may be, it's about letting it go. So some people are going to be called to kind of let go of a habit that they've always had. And with death, there's always the worry about somebody dying. There's always the worry about somebody leaving your life. Um, there's a feeling here as though um, there might be a feeling of you're worried about your own death. Like it's like maybe it's something that you're thinking about or maybe it's something that you're like, what happens after I die? Or you're thinking about life after death. It just seems to be this kind of feeling around there. Interesting. So when it comes to advice, we've got the five of cups. So it's really important for you to wait. Wait until you have a clear direction as to where to go, what to do, or what have you about whatever situation you're involved in, or just wait for the right thing that you want or the right person that you want. Don't, don't settle. Don't settle. What you want is just around the corner. Group one, time for your angel answers. What question do you have on your mind that has yes, no, maybe? 
as its answer or maybe you just need some really good advice. If you have your question, your angel answer is don't stop. This is not the time to give up. Continue to move in the direction of your hopes, dreams, or plans. You are on the right path and you should see progress as long as you stay the course. It's very important that you stand your ground and believe in yourself. Don't let others intimidate you into quitting. Just because they don't have your vision doesn't mean you shouldn't follow your heart. So group two, what do you need to know about love? We have the Page of Wands. So there's a feeling here of trying to get together with somebody. And you feel like this is going to be a great time, whether that be, you know, love life or just a new friendship, a new contact at work. And you're thinking, wow, there, we have so much in common. There's something there. Like there's just this something. And then all of a sudden... If you go down that road, you're going to realize that there's no depth to this relationship. It is going to end up being totally superficial. But, you know, if that's your thing, that you like having and knowing a lot of people, that's okay. But if you're looking for true love, true friendship, um, this is not going to be the person. When it comes to money... We got the tower. Aw, group two. So we have a lot of concern about money, work, worry about your finances. Um, this could be due to a recent loss of job, recent loss of income. Uh, um, you know, and it, and it could be literal things happening, like, you know, with all the wildfires, you're, you know, people losing their homes. There's just so much happening in the world that could that could be part of the tower that's happening here so god bless you anxiety we've got the two of cups so there's two there's two things here it's like you're worried one about some trouble at work um there's a fear here of something happening at work this could be the tower actually you know being unsure that the job's going to be there or the company's going to be there. And there's there's really a fear about not getting together with somebody, which is really weird because we got the page of wands and it's like if you you want to get to know this person or you want to to be to get together, but it's going to be superficial, but you're worried about you know the fear of not getting together. So your mind is really all over the place. It's like, on the one hand, you're worried and stressed about money, but then your need for, for some kind of love or friendship is just as strong. So you've really got like, wow, a lot on your plate this week. When it comes to advice, we have strength. Pray with conviction, my friends. I am telling you, if you picture the way you want it to be and you feel like, yes, that's the way it's going to be, you know that's the way it's going to be, that's how it's going to work out. You need to manifest. You need to picture how you want it to work out. Not what you're afraid of, but how you actually would love to see it work out in your mind. Pray for that, picture that, want that, and you will receive it. So group two, it is time for your angel answers. What question do you have on your mind that has a yes, no, maybe as its answer, or you just want some really good advice? Do you have your thoughts or your thoughts together and your question on your mind? Are you ready? What's the angel answer? Yes, exclamation, darlings. Bravo. The decision you've made is the right one. There's no need to continue to sort through additional options. You know what to do and you should move forward with your plans. You've made the correct choice for your personal growth and development. However, 
Some decisions can be a true challenge. If the task ahead of you is daunting or even sad, then proceed with your plans in a way that is life affirming and self loving. Ask your angels to be with you every step of the way and don't hesitate to call upon friend, family and friends for support. Group three, when it comes to love, we've got the sun. So yay. Uh, for some, this is about get togethers, having fun. It's summertime here now in Canada. So people are trying to get out and enjoy the few days that we do get warm and barbecues and all that kind of stuff. So there's that aspect of it. But there's also the aspect of the sun where you may may see the exposure of somebody. There might be somebody in your family, friends or relatives or even a coworker that you're all of a sudden gonna have this like aha moment and you may not like what you see. So for majority, there's going to be this happiness thing happening, but there is going to be, for some, it's like it's the first time that you've seen somebody for who they really are. It's that type of a feeling. So, you know, just letting you know. When it comes to money, we have the magician. So the magician is awesome. You know, this could mean a new job or... Um, some kind of new way of getting money in. And if you're looking at finances, you're going to be doing well. The magician is all about um, having everything that you need to make everything work the way you want it. So if you want something in your job or in your career, manifest it. Be the manifester. You're, you're the magician this week. This is the time to do it. Go for that new job. Don't be afraid. Try. And you're going to do well financially. And, and if you're worried about this month at all, don't worry. The ends will meet. You're the magician. So when it comes to anxiety, um, we've got the eight of pentacles here. So eight of pentacles, it's almost like there's a feeling here that you're being pushed into some kind of situation, something that you do not want to get involved in. There's something that's telling you in the pit of your stomach, do, it, it, don't get involved. This doesn't feel right. So there's something that's happening in your life that's there. It's a situation that's in your life, but you're not comfortable with it. And you really should go with your gut. That's your worry. For advice, we have the high priestess. So, one, if you have a gut feeling about something this week, believe in what you feel. Um, there's going to be things that you don't know right now that will be revealed to you. Um, and and it, this might take a little bit of time, so don't try to push a situation, but definitely take the time to visualize what you want. Believe in what you want. You know, really use your, your power within you to manifest, to think about what it is that you want and be able to manifest it, see it, have it. So, group three, it is time for our angel answers. What question do you have on your mind that has a yes, no, maybe as its answer? Or maybe you just need some really good advice. Do you have it on your mind? Let's see what your angel answer is. Take action. The time has come to take action. Your angels are waiting for you to take the next step so they can assist you along the path of your dreams. Do away with procrastination and uncertainty. In your heart, you know what to do. Get going. Whether you're focused upon career, relationships, or some other topic, the fulfillment of your wishes isn't going to just fall into your lap. You must be actively focused on the pursuit of what you want. So that's another weekly vibes done. 
And as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time we chat, take care. God bless. Cheerio.